the comedian, actor and writer joined Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? host Jeremy Clarkson on Friday for a special of the ITV quiz show, which was raising money for soccer aid. During one round, the 60-year-old asked to use the 50-50 lifeline option, only for the computer to leave behind the two answers she was torn between. As the answers were removed, Eddie yelled, B asterisk 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 s. The moment came early on in the show when the comedian was unsure whether or not to use a lifeline. Jeremy had asked, which building material is made by mixing broken stone or gravel with cement and water? The options were fiberglass, concrete, plywood and MDF, and Eddie couldn't decide. Weighing up the options, Eddie was stuck between concrete and MDF. She pondered, um, I'm going to. I'm going to use 50-50. The UNICEF ambassador added, I think it's concrete, but I'm always confused by MDF. If I do the 50-50 it'll probably come up with MDF and concrete, so that LL be no good. Oh ITD be embarrassing to go at this point, wouldn't it? Making a decision, Eddie stated, let's do the 50-50, what the hell? Okay, Jeremy replied, computer, could you take away two randomly selected wrong answers, please? The computer then removed fiberglass and plywood, leaving the two options Eddie had been unsure of. Oh, B asterisk 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 s. Eddie called out. It's what I just told you not to do. I think someone heard me. Well, it's B, concrete, final answer. And I hate you if I'm wrong. Thankfully, Eddie was correct. Jeremy responded. It's of course the right answer. Eddie went on to secure £125,000 for UNICEF after finding herself too unsure over a question and not wanting to risk losing money. Jeremy had asked, Paradise Lost by John Milton features in both the original epigraph and the plot of which of these novels? Explaining that she doesn't read because Shush is dyslexic, Eddie decided to keep the money. When the decision was made, Jeremy asked what Eddie would have selected had the game continued. Eddie replied, Frankenstein, which frustratingly would have been the correct answer. However, Eddie was delighted to have raised £125,000 for the charity.